I'm really excited to be with Devon Rodriguez, a talented artist who has built uh, an enormous following. You, you may have seen some of his work on social media, and uh, one of his specialties has been to help draw and represent people on public transit. Thanks for taking some time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. You're from the South Bronx, right? Yeah. And a, a lot of your work is, is drawing people that you see on the subway. So one thing I was curious about is what role the subway has played in, in your life growing up and, and maybe more recently too. Yeah, so I just always loved drawing people. Growing up in the South Bronx, like the subway was always like very accessible to me. I had a teacher that told me um, like the best way to practice was to draw people on the subway. Huh. And so that's what I was doing at the time. And then it didn't become a big thing until I made it into video content on social yeah. media. I started to give away the drawings and film it um, as a way to connect people because everyone was like um, socially distanced during those times. And even now people see the videos and it's like a uplifting, heartwarming thing. It's not just for like a art audience, it's for like anybody that wants to see um, heartwarming reactions and, and connecting people through art and art that's like democratized, easy for anyone to understand. It, it just seems simple and, and it's just everyday people. Do you feel like you have a sense of what we're doing in terms of the infrastructure bill and what we're trying to do for transit? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I'm trying to get the word out to, to oh, you know, yes. every part of the country because the the funding is going to go a long way, I think, to supporting the, the MTA, supporting every transit agency in the country. I moved to Manhattan, so I live in Manhattan now. I feel like a lot of the Manhattan subway stations yeah. are renovated, but um, in the outer skirts, like the outer boroughs, like South Bronx or um, some parts of Brooklyn, I feel like um, they could be improved more. Yeah, this is part of what we're getting at when we talk about transportation equity, right? The system should work well for every user in every part of every community. And often what we have now is areas that are higher income or better off already tend to also get better served by transit. And that's true whether we're talking about a, a smaller community and, and, and how their bus facilities look or whether we're talking about something as, as, as big as the subway in New York. So it's, it's definitely part of what we're working with transit agencies to do is make sure that the support is felt in, in every part of the system. I'm really glad I got to talk to you. This is interesting. Yeah, exactly. And we're, we're going to hop on the train soon, right? Oh, yeah. Is it going to be the number wait. six? Excited, yeah. All right. <laughs>